All right, what's up, guys? This is Daniel with Midnight Movie Trash, and we're gonna do another Misty Monday uh, film review. And in this one, we are doing her student film, Voodoo Blues, starring Misty Monday and Katie Bordeaux, and it is shot by uh, Joe Miller. All right, so it does have original music from Misty Monday, as well as it is produced by Tim McBride. And this is a very short film where Misty is basically hexed, voodoo hexed by Katie Bordeaux's character. And it is a, I guess you can call it a fever dream of, you know, Misty basically going through her, her, her voodoo curse. And it is, you know, it's a black and white film, uh, very artistically shot. Um, the use of stop motion in it was was really good and you know the one thing about this this uh, uh, DVD is that it has a lot a ton of uh, special features and she goes in talking about it where you know it was uh between her and Katie it was like just one click on the camera move the move the the doll head the you know the you'll see if you watch it to get that pulsating and gyrating effect um you know being that this was a student film that she put out um you know it's not bad it's uh it's a pretty decent short film it's you know it's silent no no dialogue and you know if you're a fan of of misty of aaron brown you know you gotta have this in your collection you know i i had a copy of it when it first came out and my copy was way under 800 i don't remember the exact number but when i had to part with my collection uh that was one of the films that that went along with most of my misty monday films uh, but this time i was able to snag a copy numbered copy still in 2170 and this edition is cool you know it came with the with a little postcard and you know I wish these were still good you know the good old EI alternative cinema get a free poster or 8x10 you know just send them a few bucks and of course you know the good old EI cinema catalog but yeah you know uh, I pulled this copy still off of Amazon and I actually have a few of these that I uh, uh, my my original copy actually uh, uh, came with three of them so I've kept them throughout the years um, I don't know maybe I'll do a giveaway you know for those that don't have one but yeah you know it's uh this this dvd is packed with uh i believe it's uh, a couple short films from joe miller and katie bordeaux as well as a ton of special features uh the making of the voodoo blues uh one interview she did for um i forgot what magazine or what website as well as some other special features other interviews and stuff like that so you know fans of, of Aaron will get you know a behind the scenes look you know of, of where she was back in and you know the early 2000s mid 2000s when she did it but you know the, the cool thing is you know she did the, the music for it and you know it there's actual uh, footage of her in the studio where they're recording what she wrote and you know that just goes to show how talented uh, Aaron really is you know music movies acting you name it um, yeah you know what can I say fans of Misty will definitely you know want to have this in the collection you know I give this one solid seven you know it, it's a uh, it's a fever dream of a, a quick short film, but for me, it was pretty good. 
you know, I, I really enjoyed the stop motion in it. You know, the eerie black and white. And, you know, they, they really, they really went all out with the stop motion and, you know, it added a very creepy vibe to it. So, with that being said, let me know if you own uh, Voodoo Blues. And, again, let me know what other film I should pick up from Misty. And I'm going to be bringing back more um, of the Misty Monday Aaron Brown content. As well as uh, I'm going to show what I have so far in my collection. And, you know, I'm going to try to get my hands on more stuff. I have a, I have a, a few EI Cinema or Seduction Cinema VHS um, films that don't do not star Misty in them. I I wound up buying a lot years ago off of eBay from Alternative Cinema, and I got about, about 15 VHS tapes, and a lot of them were multiple copies. And the only one that I actually managed to stay with, which I swore I stayed with the rest of them was uh, Cyber Erotica. Um, I could have swore I, I stayed with a copy of uh, I Like Girls Who Do, or I believe that's what it was called, and Vamps. And there was one more title I don't remember, but went through my collection and I could only find like four cop, three or four copies of Cyber Erotica, which I don't know why I have that many of them, but we'll see. But yeah, most definitely, let me know which films I should pick up I do have her latest uh, thrust that's in the pipeline for, in the pipe for uh, a review as well as uh, a couple other ones I think I haven't done yet like uh, you know she was in, in the film Lost uh, what is it Rage uh, the Masters of Horror what is it Sick Girl I still have those that I haven't done but yeah you know, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, give me more feedback on, on these Misty films. And until next time, see ya.